Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crablord back again. Another video. As you know, I've released preset packs in the past week, and I haven't put out a video on how to use them, how to set them up, and how they sound. So today I'm gonna do that. Now, if you haven't got them, they're on the website, but I'm gonna show you that in this video. A bunch of already sold and thank you guys so much if you support it. It literally means the world to me, so thank you so damn much. So for anyone who has gotten them or anyone plans to get them, I do have an email where you can ask me any question at crablordpresets at gmail.com. So this video, I'm gonna break it down. One is how to get them, two is how to set them up, and three is how to use them. Because I've gotten some questions and I wanna make sure everything is clarified. There's a link for them in the description down below, but I'm gonna show you how to get them anyway. And just so you know, you don't have to wait a week for my next video to come out. This one does not count as a normal upload for me, so let's do it. So basically what you gotta know is you gotta be on your internet. Because it's logic, you have to be a Mac user. So you're either on Google Chrome or the good old Safari. Now what we do here is we go to the top bar. Let's click a new tab. Hopefully nothing embarrassing pops up when I do this. Okay. What you wanna do is click this little top bar right here. MediaMonopoly.co. There's a link in my Instagram bio, and there's also a link in my description. You wanna hit that enter button. All right, now, shout out Max Novak. He's right here, he looks kinda good in this picture. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna click that good old music preset. That's where the Crab Lord is located. And as you can see, all these beautifully created. Now, I'm very proud of this look. Uh, this is more like a beach scene. It's like that summer pack. Did you see that? This is the new one. These are my old ones as well. They're all still very good. They're just more updated in this one. You can get all three in a deal. You can get each one by itself for 10 bucks. Try to keep the price lower than anyone else's. So we'll say we want a little Uzi preset pack. So when you click on it, you see this screen right here. It's gonna tell you what's in it. And I wrote this all, so I already know. Vocal Chain preset pack. It includes a readme document. Kind of teaches you a basic how to how to set it up and everything and like contest code and stuff like that three leads and one ad lib now it's not all like that for each one they each have different amounts of leads backups and or ad libs i'll show you right now luzi has three leads and one ad lib the mosey pack has three leads and one backup and then that gun of vocal chain has two leads and two ad libs obviously they're from my videos but i do add different variations onto the pack itself not just what i've made in the video just to keep that variation for you guys that diversity all right go back to luzi say you want it you click on it you add to the cart when you check out all that stuff, I'm not gonna show you that because obviously you know how to check out. Now I'm gonna take you to the folder you'll find it in. We're in the finder right now, and obviously you're gonna see Lil Uzi. So when you're in Lil Uzi, you double click. After you unzip it, of course. You have the ad lib and the three leads and also a readme document. You can open up and read it. It just shows you the contest code and how to set it up. So what you wanna do right away is click them all, command C, or just go manually and copy them. Copy four items, I already copied them. So the next step you wanna do is to paste them in a certain folder. Uh, some people I've heard do not have the favorites tab here. And just so you know, the folder you wanna look for is the audio music apps. When you double click audio music apps, there is something called patches in there. You could click patches, then you click audio. And obviously I have a ton of safe things I have here. But you want to go inside of it, uh, then command V to paste them all. Obviously I already have them, but command V, they're already there, right? But that's how you would do that. I'm going to pretend you guys don't have this folder. So let's just pretend you do this. Now let's say you guys can't find this folder. The best way I can tell you to find it is to actually create one in Logic yourself. So right when you're in Logic, you're going to have this little library thing. As soon as you click it, you're going to get sounds. Now just go ahead and create a new track. Let's just say this is our audio track. We'll, we'll type it in as uh, find folder just so you know all right you want to click save find folder and it's going to say where audio so you save it and then what's going to happen is it's going to be put in the user patches folder now obviously i know where the folder is because i have a ton of these for anyone who doesn't know how to find it then you want to go into spotlight search click it and type in exactly what you typed in for the track so find folder what comes up there it is right here find folder to make it easier dot patch and there it is. Then you want to click show all in finder. And there it is, right? You click on it. And at the very bottom, you're going to see music, audio, music apps, patches, audio, find folder, double click that audio. And then you're in the folder that you need to be in. And from there, you can copy and paste them. And that's how you do that. Now, once they're in there, refresh your logic or refresh your library, which would be in here. Refresh library. They'll all show up. To show you guys how these work, I opened a brand new project file with everything blank. I made these very easy to use so you didn't need a logic file. Because some people might say, my logic file is too new. And theirs is older, which I completely understand. And maybe that's false or maybe it's true. Maybe it's a mistake, but maybe it's true. So I didn't use it. In your folder, you're going to have the ones you just copied. So look, Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi 2. Hello. Okay, so now we're talking on it. And as you can see, there's a bus one and two below and two blanked out tracks. Now, when you do that, the buses aren't there. Make a new track and just do bus one and two. One, it creates it. And then two, there's your other one. Now we can talk on this again. Oh, uh, this is kind of loud. The way I have these set up, at the bottom of the ones with a bus, they're unactivated because they're supposed to be in the buses. And the order they are, are the bus order. So like, say this, the first one, stereo delay. Bus one, activate. activate. And these, are, these knobs are already set to the right thing. Space designer, second in the chain, bus two, activated. Now we have a vocal chain set up. Um, and that's how you would put the buses together. Let's do another one. We'll say Lil Mosey lead one. All right, now this one, I, it only has bus one and the space designer is there. So throw it in bus one, activate. And obviously, if you don't like it, you can change it to nothing or make it bigger. You can make it sound stupid. 
or whatever. Now, obviously, all the presets you can tweak to however you want them, but I like to give you guys a good starting point so you kind of have a good sound already, but you can tweak it to your own self. People have the wrong idea of the reason for these presets. They're not to make you sound identical to the person. I hate seeing comments like, I wish people just had their own sound. Why can't you just be original? There's no way you can program someone's voice into a plugin, but you can get similar engineered sounds to their songs. It's a great way to start your mixes because you automatically have a bass to work with because the ones in Logic are pretty good, but I started off using them and I like the ones I do now better. If you want samples of what these sound like, they're all in my How to Sound Like video, so I'm gonna put them at the end of this video just to show what the sounds are from. Some of the vocals I can't show because some of the chains aren't from my videos. They're made as alternates and different ways to do it so there's more difference. So you can watch my video and learn, but you can also get other ones that I haven't shown yet. With that being said, thank you guys so much for always supporting and watching, liking and commenting, subscribing, at least you did it once because you can't do it twice. So what I'm gonna say now is thank you guys so much for watching. Preset packs are down below. Check those out. New music coming soon. Now here are the samples of the preset packs. Crab board. We out. As a kid, I was overweight. I was really fat. But then I had to concentrate. I put on a hat. Every single freestyle I made's gone. My face wasn't in the video form. I wish it was there, but I'm so damn mad. I didn't even check the damn camera lens. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. It was fun to make in the glory hole. I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. It don't matter though, subscribe to Crowlord, he is so dope